So let's start at the beginning. What is workplace culture? Well, workplace culture or organizational culture is the shared values, belief systems, attitudes, and sets of assumptions that people in a workplace share. It's influenced by leadership and the strategic organizational direction, but it's primarily shaped by management. Now, workplace culture is the atmosphere, the norms and expectations that govern the workplace. If corporate and HR policies are the law of the workplace, then culture is the society that lives and works there every day. But because culture is not something that we can hold on to or move around or actually see, it's often taken for granted. Due to the intangible nature, workplace culture is often undervalued in its influence on organizational on organizations productivity, profitability, and long-term success. Sometimes when the topic of workplace culture is discussed within the executive community, it's not always understood and given the respect that it deserves. When we're talking with senior leaders in early conversations about workplace culture, we'll sometimes hear statements that are a little dismissive, things like, it's just the warm and fuzzies, or it's about trying to create a kumbaya atmosphere. When we talk about the need to create a workplace that supports a strong and inclusive culture, it's not uncommon for someone to say something along the lines of, yeah, 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 I get that employees are important, but my real question is how can I fill my current vacancies or increase my competitive edge or, ret or retain the best talent right now? Now, this can be a challenging barrier to overcome, but the key is to align the outcomes of workplace culture to these specific pain points. If we do that, we can shift the perspective. So we're going to look at some data that builds that connection in a minute or two, but it's vital for people to understand that talent attraction, employee well-being, change management, workplace safety, remote working, and organizational profitability are all heavily dependent on your workplace culture. Now, there is the, the sometimes the bad habit of there being like a lack of sophisticated understanding when it comes to workplace culture. When, and, we, and that really comes up when we are hearing it dismissed as making employees feel good. But the truth is, it's more than that. I like to compare the role that culture plays in the workplace as being as essential as electricity in the workplace. Electricity is what powers our equipment our buildings, our communications. Without it, we're just sitting cold and in the dark. Workplace culture is what powers the people. The people are what make our products. They are what provides our service and the people are what really powers the business. Dismissing workplace culture as just the warm and fuzzies is like dismissing electricity as just keeping our lunch cold in the fridge. <laughs> 